Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to film my reorganization of this section. So this is my everyday makeup drawer, basically. These are um, like two acrylic things that I put in that drawer. And that's the drawer in my desk that I sit at when I do my makeup, like when I'm not filming. But the thing is, like this is no longer things I use every day. So, <laughs> I don't know. The reason I'm filming this is because I want to take my, shop my stash basket, which is a mess, and try to fit as much things from here in this drawer because I'm not doing my, um, my old project pan that I was doing last year anymore. So I don't need so many products in my shop, my stash. I don't know, is this making any sense to anybody? <laughs> but I thought I would film it because then when I do my shop, my stash video, and if you're following along, you might be like, what the hell is that? That's not what you showed us last time. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking this. <laughs> but anyway, I just kind of want to refresh. And since I'm now doing the deck of panning, which is my the last video that I posted if you haven't seen it and I have to film the update actually so I need to do this first and I just want to have everything like at the forefront so that I actually use the products and rotate which is the whole point of these like panning projects for me so yeah let me just get started so these are all Okay, where do I even start here? Well, I have two lip balms in this thing. Um, this one is actually made by me. It's the Warm Spice Lip Balm. I don't know if I've mentioned this already, this product, but I have mentioned that I do have an Etsy shop where I make um, essential oil-based products. So I make lip balms, um, perfumes, what else do I have? Like cuticle, serums, things like that. So this was in here just because I made it and I wanted to use it, but it's newer like, and I can make them like whenever I want. So this is not like the lip balm I'm actively trying to use up. So it doesn't need to be in here. But this one, this Bird's Bees Honey Lip Balm is the one that I'm using like every day. And I can show you, it's, I, whoop, I've used quite a bit of it. I actually really like this lip balm. Um, I just don't love the smell of honey personally, but other than that, the formula is amazing. If you want a good lip balm from the drugstore, I'd recommend this. So I think, yeah, this definitely will stay in this container. I just don't know wear yet so I'll put it over here <laughs> um, then I also have this this is a cooling balancing oil concentrate from Aveda it's a roll-on so it's like peppermint um, scented you're supposed to use it like for tension or headaches you could put it on your temples or your neck I don't know why I was keeping it in here because <laughs> I don't reach for it so I'll put that with my other like essential oil roll-on things then I have two primers so this one the NYX glitter primer I bought just because I didn't have a glitter primer and I thought I needed one but I never use it <laughs> so but I'm gonna keep it in here because like I don't know I'll try to reach for it but this is the primer I use every time I do my makeup, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original, and that's been working fine. So those two will stay also. And then I have, well, I have four mascaras and one primer. These are all staying because this is the mascara I'm using up. It's almost done actually, the Sky High from Maybelline. And I sometimes use it with this L'Oreal Voluminous Base. It's a lash primer. I like those two together, I think. Although I'm not sure if using these two together is making this mascara flake on me because I noticed it was flaking 
one time, but then when I used the mascara by itself, it didn't flake. So I don't know. This is really meant to go with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise which is a mascara I previously used up. And then the Wet n Wild Mega Length, I use this for my bottom lashes. So technically, like I'm using all three of these at the same time most days. And then I do have an opened Anastasia Lash Brag, a mini, which I have been liking. I brought this with me on like a small trip to my family's in Ontario. Um, yeah, and this came in my Sephora Favorites kit, which is why I opened it, because I wanted to use all the products in that kit when I made that video. Um, and then this is my only waterproof mascara, the Monsieur Big from Lancome. Um, yeah, I just keep it in here because it's already opened, and I actually do use this but very rarely, like if I have to go somewhere where I'm wearing makeup and it's like raining or very snowy, I would wear this just in case like, you know, anything happens. But other than that, I don't really use it. And But it still works fine, I guess. <laughs> I haven't reached it in a while, but last time I used it, it was really good. So those are all, will all stay also. But then, okay, these products, this is actually really useful. This is the e.l.f. Does this have a name? It's, no, but it's um, a makeup remover in a pen. So I use this like when I very rarely do wing liner and I need to fix it. I would use this. It works really well. It's just that I don't usually do my eye makeup first, so I don't want to go in with this after because it will actually remove like everything. It's very um, good at what it's supposed to do. So, but do I want to keep it in this drawer? I guess because if I need it, it will be right here. Uh, and then this is the eyeliner I was trying to use up in my last year's project pen. The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Lucky. Um, I'm gonna put this back though because I have other things to use. So that will go over here for now. This I'm keeping in this drawer, my Tarte Fake Awake. It's just a nude liner that I put on my waterline. Whenever I feel like my eyes look like very red or tired, I add this to my makeup look and it automatically like honestly makes you look awake which is what it's supposed to do. So I really like this and I will keep it in this drawer. Um, but then this, this is a Evercolor Shadow Stick Extra Velvet from Mali. It's a nude shade. I used this when I did that video where I tried to copy Jamie Genevieve's summer grunge tutorial because <laughs> she used like an eyeshadow stick as a base for, to stick her eyeshadow on. And then I kept it in this drawer because I was like, oh, I'll do that from now on. No, I never do that. I mean, for certain looks, it's useful. Like if you want to put a colorful shadow like very opaquely on your lid, I would use something like this, but I don't do that every day, so. It doesn't need to be in this drawer. Um, so that was all like the mascara eye stuff, eye pencils, I guess. And then in this section, I have like face products and other things, lip liners. Oh, this is actually a lip brush. So like this. Um, this was in here because I used to use, like my everyday lip balm was a potted lip balm and I didn't want to put my fingers in it, so I was using this, but I don't use that anymore. So I guess I'll just, I don't know, <laughs> put this with my lip pencils. I, yeah. 
Then I have, these were the two lip liners in my project pan last year. The They're both from Aveda. One is called Tarragona and one is Foxglove. I'm gonna put these back because I did get some use out of them, but I've since added lip liner the lip liner category to my shop my stash so i have ones like in my shop my stash which i am supposed to be using so i can put these back and then i also had this bite beauty um line and define lip primer so i put this in here because i was thinking i would try to use this whenever i use a liquid lipstick um, because it's supposed to be like that's what it's for. Like when you use like a liquid lipstick and you want it to, I guess, not be as dry. I'm not really sure actually. <laughs> I think they made these to go with their lip pencils, I guess. Um, but I never use it. Mostly because I haven't worn liquid lipstick lately. But should I keep it in here? I guess. Cause I do have liquid lipsticks in my shop, my stash right now. So this I will keep. And then I have this little sample, which I meant to use from Elate Cosmetics. This is like an all natural Canadian brand. This is the lipstick in Apropo. Ap Ap I don't know how to say this, but it's just a sample. Um, so they literally like cut off a piece of one of their lipsticks to, as a sample. But um, I I think I have used this maybe once, maybe twice. Should I keep this? I don't think I need to keep this. Because realistically, I'm probably not gonna buy from this brand. The reason I even have this is because my boyfriend's brother's girlfriend <laughs> ordered, wanted to order from them. But there was like, you have to order like a hundred dollars worth to get free shipping i think so she asked me knowing that i use makeup if i wanted something so i picked up a cream blush and then this came in the box and she gave me this sample so yeah that's the story of this so i don't need this anymore because i don't even really like that cream blush that i got this is a elf lip scrub in a bullet form which i really like so i actually have i don't know if i've used a lot of this or if it just came with not a lot of product to begin with because that's all i have left and i do use this sometimes when i feel like i need a lip scrub but i don't want to make a mess with like my potted lip scrubs but i find like every time i use this i make it like harder to use because there's like actual like brown sugar in here or something and it gets hard like it gets like hard pan like an eyeshadow would but on a lip product if you know what I mean I don't know but I guess I'll keep it in here because like I just said I do reach for it and if it's not in this drawer then I will just go in my endless abyss of <laughs> skincare in the bathroom so I'm keeping that. Um, this is something I'm still trying to use up even though I'm not doing that project pan anymore. But this is my Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Cream. So this is all I have left, whatever is like in this section. Um, every time I use it, I'm like, this must be empty yet, but it's not. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep this and just use it up so I can be done with it. Um, because I this doesn't even exist anymore at least not in Canada. I haven't seen this anywhere for like Over a year or more now. So yeah spoiler alert should I mention this this is the um, Truly pineapple haze CBD glossy lip butter This is something I rolled into my deck of panning and I may or may not be rolling it out. You'll have to wait <laughs> and see. But that's why it's in here. So I'm going to keep that. Obviously I'm keeping this. The Never Ending Tatcha. The Pearl. This is an eye treatment. Like it's an eye cream. But it has a tint. So it's kind of a makeup product. 
but it doesn't have like much coverage um but i have used it as a concealer on like no makeup makeup days and yeah i'm just trying to use this every time i do my makeup because it was really expensive um i just don't know if it's doing anything but i'm not gonna get rid of it because it's first of all it's really cute second of all it was 60 dollars so yeah this is my Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. Just like a sample size. This was in my Project Pan last year, so I have used quite a bit of it, I guess. But this doesn't need to be in here anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to put it back in my collection. Same with this Becca Undry Brightening Setting Powder. I'm going to put that with my powders because I rarely reach for this and this does not work well with the concealer that I'm trying to use up, my Tarte Aqua Sealer. These two formulas do not mesh well together so I'm going to put that away for now. But I do think I like that. Yeah, I just have to try it out more. What should I do with this? I'm going to keep this in here for now. This is my Aveda Mineral Loose Powder because I was trying to use this up last year even though I never used powder so I don't know why I was <laughs> doing that to myself. But I have been using it lately because like everyone I watch on YouTube that I love how their makeup looks, they always use powder. So I'm like, there must be something in powder that makes it your makeup looks so like smooth and flawless but I can't find one that is good for my dry skin well it I mean I probably could find one because I have many others <laughs> unused in my collection but this one is not it is what I'm trying to say because I feel like every time I use this it actually absorbs any like dewiness in my skin especially under my eyes so it also does not work with this concealer very well. And whenever I put it like on my face, I feel like it makes me look drier. Should I even keep this at all? <laughs> it's super old. What am I doing? Should I just keep this in here? Because it will be the only loose powder. And then the next time I do my shop, my stash, I can add a powder category. So I can rotate through the ones I have. Yes, that is the plan. Okay. <laughs> Thinking out loud. So I'm, I am keeping this. And I'm also going to keep this because it's almost finished. Finally, my Project Beauty Spray Set Go. I don't even know if this product exists outside of BoxyCharm land. Because that's where I got it from. Um, and this was in my Project Pan last year. And I'm almost done with it. I actually like this a lot. It's very comparable to the MAC Fix Plus, if you are familiar with that. I do like the MAC one better because it has like that nice scent and everything. And the spray on this is crazy, like it's very intense. So you have to hold it very far away. But I do like this, so I'm going to keep that to use up. And then this section is like tools and brow products. Just trying to remember if this was my shop, my stash. No, it wasn't. That was the Patrick Ta. So I can put these away. Well, I could put this away at least. The Anastasia Brow Freeze. Because the Patrick Ta Brow Wax is in my shop, my stash. And they're kind of, I mean, they're not really the same thing, but I use them as the same step. And for the same purpose, so there's no point of having both of these in my site. Because this one is more like a soap brow kind of thing. Like you have to water activate it. And this is like a gel. But you're supposed to put them on like on clean brows. And they both are supposed to be the same thing basically. Although I find I do find them different. But this is not a review video. <laughs> So I'm going to put that away. And then these, I'm going to put this away. My NYX 
Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. While I love this, I'm just trying to use up these two products and get them out because this one is extremely old and this I don't find really does much for me. So I just want to use them and get them out of my collection. But I'll put this back with my brow things so I can like um, have it, what am I trying to say? So I can have the ink go to the tip, you know what I mean? So it's in a cup as opposed to being flat. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but these will stay my Essence Make Me Brow and my Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel because I'm trying to use them up. And then these products, first of all, I don't even know why this is here. This is a nail kit that I got in BoxyCharm like a long, long time ago. I actually really like this. Um, I used to keep this in my purse when I actually left my house before the pandemic. Um, <laughs> So this can go with my nail stuff because I don't need it in a makeup drawer. I don't even know why it was here to begin with. Um, this is the sponge I'm using right now. Um, this should be thrown out soon because <laughs> I've been using it a long time. Uh, and clearly it's stained from everything. I do wash it, but it just doesn't go back. It used to be this color. This is like the mini version of this. It's the same sponge. I think it, who was it from? Hip Dot, is that like that brand you get in BoxyCharm? I actually really like this, but I guess I'll keep it for now. But I think the next time I do my, shot my stash, I'll get rid of this because I have other ones. Let me just keep it here so I don't put it on the dusty floor. <laughs> um, this I was keeping in here in the hopes I would use it and do something fun. This is um, makeup tape, I guess you call it, from Sephora collection. Line up makeup tape, yeah. So you use this like if you want to create a very graphic look or if you just I don't know, maybe to help with your liquid liner to have a straight line. But again, this is something people would use when they do their eyeshadow first. And I rarely ever do that. So I don't need to keep it at the forefront. I'll put that back. This I'm going to keep in here because I need to use this. It's so fun to touch. <laughs> it's um, from Beauty Blender. I think it's called like a power puff pocket. I don't know, something like that. So this side is like a very soft material. And then this side is kind of spongy and you can flip, like if you put this thing on the other side, then you can use this side. But most people, well, at least Babs Beauty and Makeup by Cheryl, like my two favorites. <laughs> they swear by this product, but again, they're people that use powder. So they use this side to like do their, to press powder like into their skin. And I kind of just want to try that and see what it does. Cause they say like, this is the key to having, whoops, to having like a smooth powder effect. So I'll keep this in here. Um, these two, I guess I don't need to keep them in here, but I really wanted to use them because they're just like a fun shape. Like this shape could be good for under eye and then this for like fixing your um, like contour or you know how people put powder like under their contour to clean it up. But I never do that. <laughs> oh. These are from Quo, I think. Actually, I don't remember. I think I got them as part of a Christmas gift. Um, when I got like a Sephora gift card from my aunt, I believe. So I don't remember where she got them. Anyway. I guess I'll just put them with my other sponges. 
because I'm not using them and they're taking up space. And then this section, this is like a separate piece. So this has more like two little things like my physician's formula sharpener. It has one side for like bigger pencils and one for small. I really like this and it's really cute. It has like a good flower on this side. And I like it because clearly I haven't emptied it, but it has a lid so you can just sharpen it and not worry about a mess, you know? And then I, for some reason, have two more <laughs> sharpeners. Oh, I see, because this is um, from Pat McGrath because when you buy a lip liner, they come with a sharpener, which is like, kind of wish they didn't and that they just charge less for their lip pencils. <laughs> because like most people already have a lip sharpener and it's not like it's a special size, like this is just a regular sharpener. And then this one is from Bobbi Brown. I've had this for like ever. <laughs> And I actually do use it. But yeah, I was using this one before I got this one. So why do I need two sharpeners? Why were they even in here? I don't know, I'll put them somewhere else. <laughs> this doesn't need to be in here either. This is a Young Living Rose ointment. This is like a very thick ointment, basically, um, with essential oils. So. I actually have used a lot of this. I was using this like whenever I have a very extreme dry patch, which right now is like right here um, on my hand, or sometimes I have eczema flare ups on my hands. I put this on it just like because it helps to soothe, but I don't think it has to be in a makeup drawer. So I'm going to put that back. I'm also going to put this back. I don't know why this was here either. This is a lip mask, but it has glitter in it. It's very strange. <laughs> this came from BoxyCharm. This is actually a lip plumping mask. So I guess I was, I guess I was intrigued by that and that's why I put it in here, but I never reached for it and I have other lip care products I'm trying to use so I'll put this one away for now um this I think I will keep because I do actually reach for this this is a color switch um it's basically just like a sponge in a container and I don't know if you can see the texture yeah so you rub your brush like your makeup brush in there if you want to use the same brush for a different color, then you would use something like this because in the middle of doing your makeup, like you don't want to go and wash a brush. So you would just use this to get the shadow off. And I do use this whenever that's the case. So I'm going to keep that in here because I use my really expensive gold is a brand called Peter Thomas Roth. I feel like that's what it is, but it's sounding weird. I don't remember, but I finished them up finally. So then I was like, well, I need a replacement. And I had these in a box, but it kind of annoys me that they're all like individual. So I don't think I need to keep them. Maybe I should keep one just to remember that I have them. And then these ones I'll put with my sheet masks in my bathroom, yes. I don't need like a whole stack of them. Um, yeah, so yeah, these are by Ahava. De I didn't even say what it was. The Dead Sea Osmotor Eye Masks. Yeah, I'll keep one in here. And then if I really like it, I'll just like go and get another one from the bathroom, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's it. So now I have to figure out, well, let me just put back what I said I was keeping, which is like half of what was in here to begin with, but anyway.
Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I even did that because now I have to try and fit in my shot my stash <laughs> things in here. What am I doing? So I won't I won't go over every single product <clears throat> from my shot my stash because I do that in my shot my stash video. So now I'll just try and fit things in here. So I have to try and fit my deck of panning projects in here. I think I'm gonna put this in here. My Drunk Elephant Umber Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30 because I need to start using SPF more regularly and this is getting old. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and use that. My Tarte concealer has to be in here because I'm trying to use that up. But I don't want it to lie on its side. And I don't know if it, my drawer will close with this. So let me just put it here for now and see, see what happens. This e.l.f. Um, duo, the Baked Highlighter and Blush, is in my deck of panning so that should be in here. Maybe I'll put powder products in this section. My Hula bronzer is also gonna go in here. Oh. My Buxom Pumpkin Chai Latte. Is this a lip cream? I'm pretty sure. Yes, full on plumping lip cream. That should be in here. Well, that should be with the lip products. My deck of panning, well, at least the makeup products are in here. What else can I fit in here? Well, like I said, my Patrick Ta is in my shop, my stash. I want to reach for it more. I guess I'm gonna put these in my VDL foundation and primer because. These are in my shop, my stash, and they actually say they're expired. They have expiry dates. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to figure out if I even like this anymore. I feel like the last couple times I used the foundation, it looked like very powdery. I don't know if that's because it expired, because I do remember really liking it the first time I tried it. Maybe it's just a better like summer foundation for me. So I'm gonna put this here so that I remember to keep testing it out. Um, I should put a primer in here too. I should put my, I should put both of these. I'm gonna put this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Sample in here just so I use it up because it's starting to look kind of weird and I'm not even sure if it's still the same texture it's supposed to be so let's put that here. <laughs> I think that's all that's really going to fit in here and make it so that I can still see everything. I still have quite a few products in my shop, my stash but I have some other things to take out of that. So yeah, I guess this is how it's gonna look. Um, and then like obviously I'll just, you know, add something if I feel like I need to while I actually do my makeup and find out if anything's missing. I think that's the plan. Cause yeah, I can't fit my eyeshadows <laughs> in here obviously. But I think this is good. It's almost like a full face except for eyeshadow. So yeah, and I hope that I'll use these products more now that they're in this drawer because I'll have like, I'll be able to access them easier basically. 
so yeah i think that's it for this video i'll put it back in my drawer and then just show you what it looks like in there okay so this is how it looks in my drawer which is at my desk here yeah i think it looks pretty good so i did add the two mini palettes that are in my shop my stash my elf um cream and sugar i believe yeah cream and sugar quad and my natasha denona mini retro because everything was like all messy unless I had something else added in here <laughs> so now I officially have a full face in this drawer because I added my eyeshadows um this is what the I guess miscellaneous drawer looks like my lip products my eye treatment this lip butter I added the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream here um, and yeah, my face products that I'll hopefully get some more. Hopefully this will just be done very soon because I don't think I'll use these two together because they're kind of the same thing. This product supposedly has SPF on it, in it. Well, it was listed on the website, but it's not on the product ex itself because of Canada, you know? their weird like sunscreen laws but they're both like sunscreen tinted moisturizers basically long story short um then i have my aveda powder here i don't know if putting it back here will mean i won't use it as much we'll see my elf duo my setting spray the patrick ta hula my brow products i put them here actually they were over here but it makes more sense to have them here because that's where they always were and it just they fit there my vdl primer and foundation and then like the tools section and my eye mask so i think that's pretty good it looks organized and yeah we'll have to see how it works out in real life when i'm doing the makeup Anyway, I hope you liked this video. It was more like a thought process for me, <laughs> but I hope someone enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!